Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. Name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage, just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something. You're about to get We gonna just let them shoot at us? Gwen was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine, just this one. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. On track. From now on, observe and report. Oh fuck, they have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. I God damn it, get in closer. Wait, what are you doing? I'm taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. A little bit. I said a little bit. I'm still standing, asshole. I got their back. Oh, following orders is harder Heads than up. I thought. Heads up. You got more incoming. Ah, oh, come on. I was almost done. Well, as long as I'm here. Doobie, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there were motorcycles, and then a turret, and one thing led to another. Well, that was great. You don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you used me as bait? That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. JR, pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. on fire. Over here! Jump! Ah. 
fighters and fall back. Take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of. What is that? Sandstorm. They're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops. Then radio. Jr. Let's get him. The kid gloves are off. Kid gloves were on? Dude, no problem. So we're still doing. Come on, do it for the rent. convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just give me into jumping range and fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. Bonus better be huge. Asshole. Where's my rear guard? Oh. When said to do what I need.
fuck with Sergio's business. You think you can walk away from that? Stop that shit already. I had strict orders not to do this. Get undercover! Can't hide forever! <laughs> Yo, motherfuckers are dead now. It's on now. That's what you get for smuggling antiquity. <laughs> Attack him from all sides. Perfect hit. You hit a fucking fight. I'm gonna do to you what I did to your truck. Gwen, I followed the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Newbie, get over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player, I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. It's me, JR, from Marshall. I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Eh, I'm not doing anything else. Be right there.
Hey, JR. What's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those idols anarchists made off with my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is going to fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figure this should be easy. I'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Hey, yo. Kev, quick question. The idols robbed this guy I know. Any idea where they take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope. Just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous. Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. That must be the camp. The Collective really know how to throw a party. Who the hell are you? I'm, uh, looking to join. You. Idols. A new recruit? Well, come on in. Go find Cheryl, with a snake mask. She'll hook you up. I'm ready to watch the world burn, baby! You wanna be one of us? Being an idol is so amazing. If I bring my friends in, I'll finally move up a tier and make more money. I can't wait to be an official idol! Hi, Cheryl? I'm thinking about joining the idols. Yeah! Ready to take down the establishment? Sure. By, like, stealing car parts and shit? Or by punching everybody in the neck till they choke! <laughs> but hey, you do you. The idols are a big tent. You like heists? Talk to Martin. He's headbanging around somewhere. You, Martin? Heard you were a heist man. Fuck yeah! I made this botnet that hacks Wi-Fi-enabled refrigerators. Come summer, there won't be a working ice dispenser in town. Sounds great for the little guy. But do you steal real things? Like car parts? What even is real in a late-stage capitalist digital economy? Boom. Mind blown. But if you like meat space theft, 
Talk to Timmy O. He's around somewhere working on his bike. Timmy O. I heard you bring in big hauls. Anything that ain't nailed down. Just boosted a shipment of car parts off some cog in the big auto machine. Crazy! Where would you even keep something like that? Warehouse and back, with the other refuse of materialism. Told Kev I'd try to play nice. Stop! What are you doing here? I heard you have some car parts I was hoping to take back. Fuck off. Thing is, they belong to one of the little guys you say you fight for, so... There are no little guys. Just idols and tools of the system. It barely even hurt! Tether that container and drag it back to JR. Was the better choice. Ready. Shove this flashback up your ass! 
I kill idiots like you for fun. Uh. Yeah. Holy shit, you actually did it. Now I can finally build my garage. I always deliver on a job. Hang on. Kev, what's up? You said you'd be nice to them. I was. They were shitheads. Well, now they want you dead, and they're headed your way. Shit. Thanks for the heads up. JR, we got idols coming. Those some bitches are back. Time to beat some asses. You'll never be one of us now! Oh, well. This is payback! Going to cover! You fucking lie, dude! Glad that's over. Thanks for saving my business. No problem. Thanks for the percentage. Now all I need to do is build a garage. How's that gonna work? Just you watch. Here it is. The world premiere grand opening of Jim Rob's Garage. The service center has all the tools you need to customize your ride. And if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, let's talk shop. Hey, JR, if we're short on parts, why don't we just steal them? We could run a little chop shop here. Now that would save us a pretty penny. I need some parts for a hammerhead. How about you get me one of those?
where am I from Jim Robs? Get this back to JR. Jim Robs. Hey, JR. I got you a hammerhead. All right. Just leave it there on the side. What else you need? The idols have an off road buggy they call the Desert Dub. Can you get that for me? I've seen them riding northeast of town around the mesas. If it's out there, I'll find it. 